Hi, this is Rhett Rasmussen, Vice President of Rasmussen Gas Logs and Grills. We're the maker of Solaire Infrared Grilling Systems. Thank you very much for your purchase of a Solaire Infrared Grill. I'd like to give you just a few tidbits of information to help you get started on the right foot with your new purchase so you can have maximum enjoyment of it. First thing I'd like to point out is, and recommend is just to practice. Practice on the types of foods that you like to eat most just with your immediate family. You want to kind of get it all dialed in on how the infrared burner system works before you invite over your friends and family, extended family, for enjoying a nice meal off of the Solaire infrared grill. With infrared, everything goes quicker than what you may be used to with a conventional grill. So a little bit of practice will go a long ways and make you the master of the grill. When you first go to use your grill, you want to put it on high, light your igniter, to push your igniter button to light the grill, and then let it heat up for a minimum of three minutes. That brings the infrared burner to the maximum temperature before you start putting your food onto it. I like to go two and a half to three minutes on one side, flip it over two and a half to three minutes on the other side, both on high, and then I'll turn it down. Now this will vary from type of food, type of meat to, to another type. Thickness will change that. A thicker cut, I might go a little bit longer on high before I do the turn down. Um, sometimes I'll just go a little bit of sear and a longer time on low. Keep turning to let the juices flow through. You're gonna find what works best for your types of food, but this is just to kind of give you a, a starting point. Then when you're all done with the food, you um, grilling on it, you want to turn the burners on high for a minimum of five minutes. This will help burn off any of the drippings and, and whatnot that's fallen onto the burner surface. You've got thousands of little holes in the ceramic surface of your infrared burner and this one step, burning off for at least five minutes after every use, will help keep those clear. Periodically you'll want to remove your burner and brush off and shake out any dust and, and uh, ash that's accumulated on it so that you have full use of the full infrared burner surface. You always want to use your grilling grids in the V-shaped configuration. That helps to control the drippings down onto the burner surface so that what does drip onto it will instantly incinerate and go back into the food as smoke and flavor. It also helps to control flaring. You never want to use the grill in the inverted V shape. What that does is besides allowing too many juices to flood down onto the burner, resulting in more flare-offs, it also puts your food closer to the burner surface, which is going to char the outside and leave the inside raw. Periodically, you can remove your burner and wipe out the inside. I like to use 409 or some orange oil cleaner and a whole bunch of paper towels. Just wipe it out. If you want to get into a little more deep cleaning, you can use some Barkeeper's Friend and a, and a damp terry cloth. And always go with the grain direction of the stainless steel. Otherwise, if you go cross grain, it's going to give you a cross hatch uh, scratching appearance, which you want to avoid. Uh, Soft scrub is a tub and tile cleaner that's a mild abrasive that also works well on the stainless steel to get off any stubborn stains. All depends on how fastidious you'd like to be. The grilling grids, I always like to use a wire brush before I put food onto it and then during the five minute burn off to, to try to keep them clean. It's never going to look as shiny as it is coming out of the box. It is going to change coloration from the high heat. That's normal. You can take the grilling grids out. You can pressure wash them. You can put them into your washing machine, your uh, dishwasher. You can wash them in the sink. Whatever you'd like to do to uh, the, the level of cleanliness you'd like to have on your grill. That, that's up to you. The, uh, the care of the outside is periodically if it, for, to remove grease, 409 or orange oil again with, some, with a nice soft cloth and a nice uh, stainless steel polish or, or protectorant that you can get. The type that's on your grocery store shelf works e extremely well and I recommend that. Your Solaire infrared grill is a heat management system. It just gets hotter than any other type of grill you've been used to. 
really test it out. It's, you will get great food off of it. If you're not getting that, please contact us. Let us know what your experience is, and we'd like to make sure you are getting the most out of your grill. So thank you again for your purchase of a Solaire Infrared Gas Grill. We invite you to join our Facebook page to share your grilling victories and experiences with us, to provide us with some photos and, and recipes of your favorite foods that you've grilled on it, to help the whole Solaire community further enjoy their purchases. Thank you again for your purchase. Happy grilling.